Daily, Abiding in Jesus Christ May 7, 2020 By Christo Doji Nobaga Isaiah 53 verses 3 to 5 Verse 3 He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows, and acquainted with grief. And we hid as it were our faces from him, he was despised, and we esteemed him not. 4. Surely he hath borne our griefs, and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. 5. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Quotations from the Spirit of Prophecy when we see Jesus, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief, working to save the lost, slighted, scorned, derided, driven from city to city till his mission was accomplished. When we behold him in Gethsemane, sweating great drops of blood, and on the cross dying in agony. When we see this, self will no longer clamor to be recognized. Desire of Ages, page 439 It was to redeem us that Jesus lived and suffered and died. He became a man of sorrows, that we might be made partakers of everlasting joy. God permitted his beloved Son, full of grace and truth, to come from a world of indescribable glory, to a world marred and blighted with sin, darkened with the shadow of death and the curse. He permitted him to leave the bosom of his love, the adoration of the angels, to suffer shame, insult, humiliation, hatred, and death. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. Isaiah 53 verse 5 Behold him in the wilderness, in Gethsemane, upon the cross. The spotless Son of God took upon himself the burden of sin. He who had been one with God, felt in his soul the awful separation that sin makes between God and man. This wrung from his lips the anguished cry, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Matthew 27 verse 46 It was the burden of sin, the sense of its terrible enormity, of its separation of the soul from God it was this that broke the heart of the Son of God. But this great sacrifice was not made in order to create in the Father's heart a love for man, not to make him willing to save. No, no. God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, John 3 verse 16. The Father loves us, not because of the great propitiation, but he provided the propitiation because he loves us. By Ellen G. White, Steps to Christ, page 13.